everyone, it's Naomi Lachance with TYT Politics, and I'm here at the Capitol where later today Senate Republicans are going to vote on health care legislation. I'm here with some very concerned citizens, Brandon Ezekiel and Nadia Haddad, who are going to tell us a little bit today about why they're here and what they're concerned about. So, Brandon, why are you here today? To stop the bill that Donald Trump is trying to pass, trying to kill the bill. I mean, if we don't kill the bill, we'll lose our Medicaid. And why are you concerned about that? Because I'm sitting in a wheelchair that costs $25,000 and Medicaid helps me pay for it. So if I don't have my Medicaid, if I need a new chair or any parts for it, I can't get it. It costs too much. How about you? Well, I'm here to support also for the same reasons. Because if they cut that Medicaid, people will be without personal assistance. So once I'm lying in bed and if I don't have assistants who come and help me and wash me and put me in my wheelchair, I won't be able to live or to participate inside the society and community. So they will put me back in nursing houses and I think that the bill will be higher than, than giving me the budget to live inside society. So it's the cost effectiveness is really wrong thinking about this. This is about human rights. And that's why we are here to reclaim our basic human rights. Mm -hmm. It's about it's about your right to live autonomously and with health. Yeah, it's our right to decide where we live, with whom we here, who's the one who's going assistance, when he's going to assistance, on what he's going to assistance, so that we are having really a choice on our own life and to live independently, just as equal as all other citizens. Absolutely. Um, is there anything you want to add to that? Uh, just kill the bill. It needs to be killed. We don't need that type of bill. You're trying to give the one. You're trying to give the rich more money. The rich don't need more money. They're already rich. So why would you want to make a bill to make the rich people richer than what they are? So, I mean, I need my Medicaid. It's just plain and simple. I need it. She needs it. Everybody that's sitting behind me, that's rallying with the Democrats, need their Medicaid. We're out here fighting to kill this bill, and we're going to we're going to succeed in killing this bill today. Yeah, it seems like it's been a really powerful demonstration of solidarity, of organization together. Is that is that something you've experienced? Uh, yes, especially, in fact, I'm coming from Europe, and we are also suffering from austerity measures, and we're having the same struggle, because without budgets, we are really going to rely on what? We are going back, relying to our families, to our neighbors, to the goodwill on charity of people, to make us going out again. After that, we won our rights. Now they will go and do steps by. So it's we must have a standstill principle because we have human rights, and there was also conventions that uh, the United States signed where they committed themselves to fulfill the rights of each citizen they have. So it's all right to live as equal as all the others inside the society and having this support because without it 24 hours I can't survive so they yeah they better then suicide all of us they can kill us because this will really lead us all to die absolutely it's a it's a very dire situation um, yeah it's a dire situation um, just like with our medication um, if we go to the doctor right now, Medicaid helps us pay mostly for the medication that we get. Some people have to pay two and three hundred dollars for medication, maybe for just one pill. Like for me, for instance, I currently right now don't have health insurance. I don't. I went to the doctor for a toothache. They put me through a machine and they give me one pill. They sent me a bill for three thousand dollars. Where am I going to get three thousand dollars from to pay a health care bill? I don't have it. I, think I don't have it. So every time they call me, oh, are you going to be able to pay it? No, because I don't have the money for it. That's a $3,000 health care bill. If I had the money, you would have it, but I don't have it. So we need our Medicaid to help us get through life. So you've heard from um, several Democratic senators today. What, what would you like um, them to hear from you? So we have the hope that they really will stop this this Medicaid to stop because as long as we have it, we can be a, yeah we can be a full citizens. We can also go to work. We can also participate inside society, paying our own bills because we are able. We have assistance and we are able to fulfill our role, just like all the others. But if the senators fail and this law pass, that means that all of us, all of us, we will regress. I'm even not speaking about quality of life, I'm speaking about surviving. We won't be able to survive.
nor ourselves, nor our families, nor our network. So it will be on their conscience from all those politicians that if they don't vote against this, this initiative they want to take, that we all will nearby going and die. Absolutely. I just want the Democrats to know that they're st we, st we stand with them and as they stand with us. So as we sit here and fight, we're fighting together as one. We have people all the way from Japan, Pakistan, and she says she's from Belgium. I'm from Philadelphia. We have a lot of people from all over the U.S. under one umbrella fighting under one democracy for one thing.